Hey, I really hope you're doing well. The Daily Mail have come to the party and everything has simply changed. They've moved us from our fan speculation and now taking us to, well, more speculation, only that they're driving the conversation over there. This is our second video of the day and if you missed the first one, I'm leaving it right here and that is where we live by the possibility of Jadon Sancho crossing from Manchester United to Chelsea. Oh my goodness, I still talk about that and I'm still as excited as I was when we did that story. Only that now we have seven other stories coming our way. First off is that the Daily Mail are giving us three possible signings that Chelsea are looking into. Matter of fact, they tell us they are looking into that. Emil Smith Rao from Arsenal, um, uh, Rafinha from Barcelona, as well as Ferran Torres also from Barcelona. Who of those do you want? We're going to be breaking down that story on this particular one. There's a trip that Fabrizio Romano is taking us on to Lyon, and we are talking Bacola as well as Ryan Shaki or not do stay tuned and stay around for that and much more we also have quite a number of things that we're going to be talking about away from that because Raheem Sterling he continues to be impressing with the press uh, getting to speak about his early season form I'm also telling you about something you need to listen to if you haven't already more stories that we have for you is an update on uh, Eden Hazard and where next he will be playing we have an update on that as well as of course Trevor Chaloba he might be going out to a team in Germany. We are discussing that in this video, as well as, of course, what Ian Madsen's contract situation could mean for Chelsea Football Club. My name is Desire Derek von Mogomisa. All those stories right here on this video. So, yes, you're in the right place. And uh, by being in the right place, I urge you to subscribe to this channel. I urge you to like this video. I urge you to turn on that notification bell. And, yes, I urge you to follow me on social media. I am at Dimugumisa. On X, I am at Dimugumisa. On Instagram, and I am at Double Dimugumisa on TikTok. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, first off, um, uh, big story coming in from uh, the Daily Mail. Emil Smith Rao, Rafinha, or Ferran Torres? Who do you want? Chelsea have come to a press conference through Pochettino and told us they want one person who will be able to play across the front line and uh, one who has Premier League experience as well as, of course, one that can score and create goals. There is a tweet coming in from the Daily Mail. Let's read it. Chelsea are weighing up a move for Arsenal attacker Emil smith Rao with Barcelona duo Rafinha and Ferran Torres also on the Blues radar. That is in their column, Transfer Confidential. Now, these are three names that all tick those boxes. Emil smith Rao, experienced in the Premier League, young, it is the, progress, um, uh, the profile of players that Chelsea have been uh, you know, signing. We know very well about him creating goals and scoring them because he has done exactly that against us. So, um, uh, interesting one, right? I'm not, as, I'm not so excited about the young lad. I'm not so sure he fits in so well in the Chelsea setup. I'm not a big fan of his. I, I think let me just uh, stop it at that and not justify why I'm not a fan of uh, this particular move. Um, uh, ah, Rafinha. In all honesty, I like the guy. I think he is uh, a guy that we need. I think he's a guy that needs us. I still do think he made a mistake um, uh, having a fee agreed for him with uh, Chelsea and Leeds when he left Leeds and then him choosing to go to Barcelona. I always felt it was the wrong move um, uh, and now there is a chance for him to correct that. Does he want to come? I'm not so sure. I've not read so much into um, uh, him uh, trying to move back to England and all of that. But if he came to Chelsea, then that would be a super, super signing um, uh, for Chelsea Football Club. For the Chelsea fans that are not so happy about him, he's a guy who had a dream. He's a guy who loved Barcelona. Barcelona wanted him and uh, yeah, he had to go there. Now he's benched by a 16-year-old and uh, he must be thinking, yeah, I need to go find some uh, football somewhere and uh, Chelsea should be a very good option for him. I'll be excited for that one coming through. Ferran Torres, the less you speak about that, the better in my books. I'm not exactly a fan of his um, uh, right there, so we'll leave that story at that, shall we? Anyways, let's get to move on and go to uh, Lyon because a couple of stories are coming through and they are both courtesy of uh, that is Fabrizio Romano. Let's get straight into them. Chelsea are discussing internally on the best player to go for. Someone creative who can play multiple positions. There is no advanced um, uh, or concrete negotiation for Ryan Sharkey. I can't tell you when they will move 
could be tonight, tomorrow, or Wednesday. That is according to Fabrizio Romano, and he's just really saying Chelsea moving on who of those uh, options could uh, the, the, those options could be. Now, of course, we already looked at uh, the first story that we've just discussed. Um, Emil Smith Rao, could that be a possibility? Uh, Rafinha or Ferran Torres, or could it be also Ryan Sharkey added to that? One guy that will not be added to this conversation is a name is a guy named Bradley. Um, uh, Barcola, because according to Fabrizio Romano, a very reliable guy on stories like this, he came out to state that Chelsea and Olympic Lyon discussed about Bradley Barcola last week, but he's currently not close to CFC, that is Chelsea. Understand Chelsea are considering different options as Olympic Lyon wanted Andre Santos on loan as part of the deal. Talks for Barcola stopped since Andre joined Nottingham Forest there. Okay. So, Bacola, definitely not part of that. Now, we have four names that we are considering. How will that get to go? It is going to be a very interesting end to the transfer window. Please do not. This is the week where that closes and we just concentrate on who you have and what you need to do. So, yes, there will be some drama, I do suspect, for Chelsea Football Club. And I will be happy to bring you all those stories as they come through. What do you think of the stories we've shared so far? Of the four names that could be coming to Chelsea, who are you most excited about? Head to the comment section and let's get to have that conversation over there. I'll be excited to interact with you on there in the comment section as well as on social media, wherever you can find me. Let's get to move on to our next story and that is Raheem Sterling. We talked about him in the video earlier and I did share with you where you can find it and uh, now we get to continue on that and that is of course uh, Simon Phillips again picking up on uh, Raheem Sterling stating Raheem Sterling spent the summer kind of trying to fall back in love with football. He also changed his diet and had some open conversations with Pochettino about his role. The message is to be more direct and aggressive and that is a conversation that they did have after that game against liverpool in there so yeah big big stuff i'm going to share a link to that uh, article in the description in here but i'm also going to share with you a link to the podcast that you need to be listening to that is from the athletic straight out of cobham um, uh, a bit of an interview with Raheem Sterling and analysis from the guys from The Athletic on that particular one. It's uh, some inspirational stuff and of course uh, something that gives us a whole lot of hope with the new season um, uh, just about started for us here at uh, Chelsea Football Club. Let's move on from that, shall we? Let's talk Eden Hazard, a legend of the club. His contract expired at Real Madrid a couple of uh, months maybe ago and he seems not to be finding another club that is breaking news as far as that is concerned and we're going to be sharing that with you just now. Daily Mail getting to break that one earlier today. Former Chelsea star Eden Hazard set to retire age 32 after Real Madrid exit. I will urge you to find that article and get to read it. Um, uh, of course, injuries have not been kind to him ever since he left Chelsea to go to Real Madrid. He's a guy not so many of us have qualms with. The only qualms I ever had with him were inconsistency. And I know I've been very controversial on that particular one, but he was quite inconsistent. When we struggled, we struggled with him. Um, uh, he put on tremendous a tremendous game or two and then disappeared for three or four. At least that is what I remember of uh, Eden Hazard. But yes, he definitely carried us when he did. It's sad to see that he can't find another club. Matter of fact, when uh, Fabrizio Romano started teasing us about that star player that could come to Chelsea and everything, in, at the back of my mind, I thought, well, it's a wild card. Eden Hazard back at Chelsea and all of that. But uh, to block the pathway of the likes of um, uh, Mihailo Mudrik and all of those with uh, a legend of the club, uh, 32 years of age, is already shown for years that he can't stay fit, um, uh, would have been uh, such a risk, wouldn't it? Well, now we are hearing that he's considering a, re a retirement. So that would be something that you can get to watch out for. Of course, there are a couple of clubs in Saudi Arabia and the US that have already offered him um, opportunities to get to continue with his football. But it doesn't look like he will be taking up any of those. We'll be watching that story. And when it develops, we'll give you more of that. Let's move on to our next one, shall we? Yes, Bayern Munich. They're in the headlines again, trying to get a Chelsea player. Let's get to that story right away. And uh, that is that Bayern Munich have made initial contact with Chelsea over Trevor Shaloba, who is seen as a possible replacement for Benjamin Pavard. If a deal can be agreed with Chelsea, the decision will rest 
with Shaloba. That is according to Sky Sports. Now, of course, Shaloba is a man who has uh, insisted that he wants to fight for his position in that back line for Chelsea. Now, with uh, Borussia Pochettino usually playing a back four, largely surprised that we are playing a back three as it is. You do not know where Trevor Shaloba will get to play, especially with De Sassi being the shoe-in guy to start the games at that right centre-back role so far. Um, uh, Trevor Shaloba is one of those academy kids who's just not exactly made it at the big stage, even in an era where some of the younger players are now starting to play for Chelsea Football Club. Uh, would I be paying so much if at all he left the club and went to Bayern Munich? I wouldn't, but I would hope that we have either a selling clause, but preferably a buyback clause on him because he's also one guy that promises to be doing some huge, huge stuff as far as his career is concerned. We'll watch that story and see how it gets to develop. Uh, this Thomas Tuchel once again trying to come back to Chelsea Football Club and get some players. I'm also starting to wonder what it is exactly their scouting uh, situation is like at Bayern Munich because it seems anyone they want has to come from the Chelsea fold. That is like what, player number three or so that they want to be signing ever since Thomas Tuchel went to Bayern Munich. Well, we'll study that and see how it all gets to go. Another story, that one coming in of course around uh, Ian Matson is that, uh, well, he's been offered a long-term contract but uh, he hasn't signed it and now the Daily Mail are reporting on just that. Chelsea started Ian Matson's decision on a new contract could impact on Mark Kukurea's exit amid Man United interest. And now the twist here is that, well, Man United are in talks with Chelsea currently on the possibility of taking Mark Kukurea on loan for the season. Um, uh, but of course with Chelsea and Ian Matson not yet signing that long-term contract that he has been offered, well, it could be that, uh, according to the sources of Chelsea, it could be that it's safer to sell Ian Matson if he's not going to sign that contract um, uh, with clubs such as Borussia Dortmund, among others, all interested in his services, and keep Kukurea as the backup to, that is, of course, uh, Ben Chilwell. Until then, I think Pochettino has done enough to show us who he prefers as his backup to Ben Chilwell, and that has been Ian Matson at least until now. Will he get to sign a new deal? It is something that we shall watch out for and see if it will come to pass. This last one really is an update. Leslie Ugochuku, according to Sky Sports, is expected to stay part of the first team squad. So yes, some depth in there for Chelsea Football Club if that is something to go by. Um, uh, of course, you have Lavia Caicedo in similar positions. You would need an extra body. I think that will be Leslie Ugochuku. There is still some question marks on whether Conor Gallagher will continue on the club by the end of Friday when the transfer window closes. We get to watch out and see how that one gets to go. Anything other than that is Enzo and another first or two um, uh, in that midfield. We definitely need cover, especially with all the injuries that we are getting. And I'm happy to read that Leslie Ogochuku, who has shown some uh, flashes of brilliance in the little cameos he has had at the club so far um, uh, already. So yes, I'm excited to see him get to stay at the club. I hope it's not something that will have him stay um, uh, you know, stagnant as far as his career is concerned. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this particular video. That was the second one of the day, and I do hope that you did get to enjoy both videos that we brought to you for the first time on this channel. We hope to make this one much more consistent, giving you two videos a day with all the updates as far as Chelsea is concerned. More reason why you need to subscribe to the channel immediately, like this video, and get to turn on that bell for all the notifications so you don't get to miss out on a video we get to bring to you. Follow me on X, that is at Dimogumisa, on Instagram at Dimogumisa, and on TikTok at Double D Mugumisa. And these conversations will continue both there and in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, until the next video, keep that blue flag flying high.